So guys, before we get started, don't forget we do have that amazing discount code, thanks to Tier Zero Games, going on right now. And all you have to do is put in Z W Games five to get five percent discount on your total order at TierZeroGames.com. The links will be in the description below. Hey YouTube, this is Joe from Zephyr War Games, and I'm bringing to you guys an update to not only my Neo deck but my classic Hero Grand Merge deck. Um, by saying this. Um, uh, what I mean by this is that I took both my concept decks for these uh, builds and I've merged them together using an idea that I saw from one of the um, OCG YouTubers I'm subscribed to um, who built a deck um, build for this for um, Dual Links which I've also constructed my own personal um, take on it. Um, just a few minor tweaks to fit my face down what I thought um, would fix some um, consistency issues. Um, using the cards that I had, I have on my current door links. I took that concept. Um, for it's been working very well. Um, the the merge of grand merge with um, Neos is actually really um, does suit very well. And you get some really nice OTK um, damages in um, in terms of door links and in terms of IRL. You get a lot of damage in, and you can get really cool monsters onto the field. And um, some personal tweaks in here, you got some uh, recursions and some additional power uh, to those plays, um, which I'll explain to you when I get to it. But overall, the, the deck's been doing very well, the hands have been doing very nicely. I just wanted to profile it to you guys, because I think um, it's a really cool concept, and Neos and the heroes in general are something I really do enjoy, I always like to profile your builds for you. So with all that said and done, let's crack on into it. Starting with the Hero Vanillas, as they're very important, we play obvious three Elemental Hero Neos, three Elemental Hero Sparkman, and one Claymore. These are the only Vanillas that you want to play, because they're the highest level Vanillas that you can play. Um, and in terms of um, these two, the level 4 ones, I go with three Sparkman just because he has the highest attack, and he merges... Um, Pretty well with one of the cards I have in the extra deck. Um, and uh, Neos, obviously, he is the strongest in terms of the Vanillas, the highest level, and goes into your Neos plays. And the Clay Man, as I said, he is the next best one um, due to his just level alone. So, those are the Vanillas that you play. Um, you play three of these as well, just because you know you, you want the most in your deck, you want to have a Neos in your deck for your plays, um, as one of the cards in here comes very well with Grand Merge for your OTK pushes. Um, for the, moving on to the effect monsters for your fusion searches in a, in your sen in a sense, um, I'm playing two Elemental Hero Blaze Man, um, and one Keeper of the Dragon Magic. The reason for this, I'm just moving that out of the way, um, the reason for that is because, um, this is searchable, um, just being an elemental hero, and you can just like summon him, get your monsters into the graveyard, get your polymerization search. But Keeper Dragon Magic, I like to take him as a one of, um, just because he can search Neos Fusion, whereas um, Blazeman obviously can't, because he can only search Poly. Um, another fusion searcher I'm playing is Two King of the Swamp. The reason for this is that not only is he a fusion searcher, but he is also a fusion substitute for your. Um, bigger hero plays, um, and also just being able to send him to the graveyard with um, Neos Fusion for your um, Brave Neos to then later on play Miracle Fusion and go into something very big um, that way. Next, we have two Neos Space Connectors and one Aqua Dolphin for the Neos uh, package. Um, Neos Connector. Fulfills a very powerful role in this deck just because of how m good he merges with, um, goes with Grand Merge. Um, the reason for that is that once you go and get a uh, Neos in Graveyard, um, by other means of like either Neos Fusion or if you play a uh, Foolish Barrel, which is something I'm going to look into, um, you can then just go summon Neos Space Connector, summon a Neos from deck, then sack Neos uh, and tribute Neos Space Connector to get back to Neos from Graveyard. You now have two high level heroes in the field, which you can then play uh, polymerization and just go into your grand merge with the most attack that he can have. 
Um, the Aqua Dolphin is in here just for another target for your Neospace connector to help you go into your Azole. Also just rip hand traps out the opponent's hand. And then I play four one-offs in the deck in terms of the monsters. I'm playing one obvious Elemental Hero Stratos. You, this is searchable, which then you can summon it and then just search off uh, your Neos or your Sparkman for your certain situations. Um, I'm just going to go into your fusion plays that way. Uh, one Shadow Mist is the, one of the best things to send off with your Neos fusion um, to then just get you a free search. The obvious Honest Neos. Um, I am going to thinking of playing Honest, um, the OG Honest, just for the light support in the deck, which I'll explain to from the extra deck and um, one of the cards in the main deck. Um, but Honest Neos is searchable uh, via the Shadow Message, is one of the things you search off the most. Um, this is overall a really powerful card. And because it's still technically a Neos deck and you can still do it, um, I am playing the one Rainbow Dragon just to allow you to go into Rainbow Neos for that big power play, just like, you know, wipe the opponent's board clean, but then just go off. So, so that's it for the monsters. Moving on to the spells. For searches, you know, <laughs> it's heroes. Heroes have tons of searching. So we play the free e emergency call, the one a hero lives, and the one rota. Um, the heroes just have tons and tons of searching. You just ma want to max out on as much searching and some potential as possible, um, just to help you go off with your fusion plays. The free copies of Neos Fusion, probably just an amazing, amazing card for heroes in general, just of the potentials and the plays that you can pull off with it. Um, it's literally just as powerful um, as the Destiny Fusion. And Destiny here has got the arguably I think Destiny Fusion is still a bit better, but Neos Fusion is still an amazing card for what it is. Uh, two copies of Miracle Fusion. You know, just being able to just fusion for some from the graveyard, go into your big powerful plays, um, as long as the along with the Grand Merge um, and other text that are playing the extra there, uh, Miracle Fusion is really good for that. I'm trying out two copies of Miracle Contact that I am considering taking one out and putting in the Foolish Burial. Um, but Miracle Contact is another power play from the graveyard to just help you go into another Brave Neos or anything else that you need and you can just go off from there. Two copies of Polarization, you don't need to play free, you have plenty, plenty of ways to search this card and recur it from the graveyard as well. Um, if you want to play something in the extra deck, um, but Polymerization, you only need, really need two copies of it because again, there's plenty of ways to search it and there's plenty of ways to search those cards that search this. So, um, playing two copies of Cool by Grove because I only had room for two, but you can bump this up to three if you so wish. One copy of Monster Reborn. And the tech that I've been speaking to about pretty much this whole video is three copies of Photon Sanctuary. And the reason for that is your two main boss monsters in the extra deck are Grand Merge and Brave Neos. Both are light attribute, um, as well as some of the other texts I play in the extra deck. Um, so, and even things like Rainbow Neos as well. So, your main power players and your main boss monsters are light. So, being able to just go Photon Sanctuary, get a Hip Hoshigan onto the field, and then go off with your fusions. Your fusions are getting an extra 500 attack points to help ram over opponent's monsters. And if Hip Hoshigan does get destroyed, you can then recur one of your monsters back from graveyard. Mostly, you're going to recur your Neo, so that way you've got another Grand Merge play next play, um, next turn. And Photon Sanctuary, I just think, is a really, really nice card for that. Just being able to go one card into a link and then continue with your plays um, without pretty much any hindrance at all. It's just a really, really strong card, in my personal opinion. Um, and then I play one trap card, just as a personal tag, is Hero Blast, just because you can play this. We cut your Neos back to your hand, pop something 2500 attack points, and then you've got a Neos in hand um, so that you can go into your fusion place. Uh, so that's it for the main deck. Moving on to the extra deck. Starting off with your main focus of the extra deck is two copies of Grand Merge and two copies of Brave Neos. I'm thinking of bumping Brave Neos to three, um, but because even in my Dual Links um, build, I have been wanting to go into a third Brave Neos at times, but um, it's just something I'm playing around with. 
um, but you want to at least play two copies of each. Grand Rage is just an absolutely amazing beast of a monster. When it destroys something in battle, you get to tribute it and summon any hero from your extra deck, ignoring so many conditions. Um, and I'll get to the targets I have in just a moment. The only thing to wrap up the monsters, um, in terms of your boss monsters, is the one copy of Rainbow Nearest. Um, so it's very easy to pull off with just you know one copy of Nearest Fusion. Bam, get this guy out. If you have a hit push, you're going to feel he's now 5,000 attack points, which is absolutely beefy. Um, for the targets, I play four targets for my um, Grand Merge, and that is one copy of Nebula Nearest, one copy of Magma Nearest. Uh, these are like the two nearest targets that I play for my Grand Merge, um, just for either board wipes and effect negations and draw power as well and magma is just for those really big power pushes because he can get big pretty easily i play the one shining flow ring man which is another big target for your grand merge get this guy out late game um after you just swing with your grand merge he's at least going to be at 3k um or more and then again with your hip host you're going to feel he's getting an extra 500 attack points and the burn damage is good as well and just a fun text because it's one of my favorite heroes and it's a classic one at that is one copy of flame wingman but obviously you can take flame wingman out you can put in the full copy of brave neos you can put in anything that you honestly want you can even put the um extra hero wonder driver in here i don't personally play it um just i think the links i currently have a bit more generic and easy to pull off but obviously it's up to you what you want to play in your personal build this is just what I personally play and I play one elemental hero the shining just because any hero plus a light monster which is pretty much everything in here most of the things in here you can make this guy go off from there one copy of Nova Master just gives you that target with your um, blaze man if you so need it it does come up a few times and the one copy of vision here trinity to hunt the fusion monsters just because trinity can get just get just swings for 5k and it can attack everything as well um, so trinity is good for that and i play free link monsters in the forms of one as old age just because everything in here is a warrior essentially um most of the monsters you're going to get on the field other than through frog sanctuary are going to be warriors and then the two copies of hip hoshigan for your photon sanctuary targets um this can either be two copies of Hit Hoshigan, it could be one Hit Hoshigan and one Soul Flare Dragon, Galaxy Eye Soul Flare Dragon if you want to. I just think Hit Hoshigan is a better target just because it benefits you through not only its power power buff, um, which is probably the main reason to play it, but um, it also benefits you through its recursion ability. But now, guys, that is that. I hope you all enjoyed it. Again, this is a really fun build I'm playing, and it's probably a build I'm going to stick with for um, the time being, keeping on improving it just to see how I can go um, and make this build even better, maybe even make the best, quote-unquote, nearest build to play, and just because, again, how easy and how nicely Grand Merge mixed as well with him. So, again, guys, like, comment, subscribe, until next time guys, as always, happy dueling. What's up YouTube? Dad here from Zephyr War Games. Thanks for watching that video. If you liked it, please hit that big thumbs up button in the bottom corner as well. And don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. And make sure you click that notification bell as well so you know every time one of our new videos goes up. Throughout the whole year of 2019, we're gonna have more deck profiles, duels, and of course, pack openings for you guys to watch and enjoy the entire year round. So stay tuned for more, and as always guys, happy dueling.